Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. In this video, we want to integrate Lottie, uh, the framework into our project, as well as uh, download the animation files to be integrated into our project. Okay, so let's uh, start by opening up our terminal. So I have my terminal already open over here. So let's uh, just CD into our project directory and I will do a CD dot dot to bring it up to one level. And then let's do a pod in need. Oops, not pod install, pod in need. Okay, so let's hit the enter button. And right now, uh, if I do open, to open this in the finder, I should see the pod file being created. So I'm just going to drag the pod file over here. You, you don't have to do that. You can just open this directly in the text editor, but this happens to be my preference. So let's click on the pod file over here and I want to paste in pod Lottie iOS, okay? So again, if you want to check out the uh, repo, you can do Lottie uh, iOS, I think something like that. And then this will be the um, library that you can use. All right, so there's a ton of uh, documentation over here. So this is the one that I just pasted in. Okay, so let me bring this out of the way. So I'm going to save this and then come back to my terminal. And this time I'm going to do pod install. So I believe uh, that should install the uh, Lottie library. And in the meantime, I'm going to close this uh, uh, Xcode project because we will be opening up in the uh, XC workspace. So let me just uh, close this and then all right. So guys, uh, it has been installed. So if I'm to just open the uh, folder again, I should see this uh, XC workspace uh, file over here. So let's open the project using this one. All right. So okay, looks like my settings have resetted. So just now I was on the iPhone SE, second generation, so maybe I think I want to choose the iPhone 11 Pro Max this time. So let me just uh, rerun the uh, app to ensure that everything stays the same. Alright guys, so while this is uh, running the simulator, I just want to show you um, the place where you can download uh, the files. So if you do a search on Lottie files on Google, uh, I think the first result, uh, lottiefiles.com should be the one that we want to go to. All right, it looks like my simulator is almost there. All right, not there yet. Okay, so I think this is the place that we want to go to. So um, uh, if you can see over here, there are a lot of free animations that you can use. Uh, just, uh, just make sure to give the proper attribution. Okay, so I'm going to type in a restaurant over here. And uh, let's see what we have over here. Okay, so there are a couple of animations over here and I'm interested in one particular animation. Let me see if I have it over here. Uh, nope, it's not here. Let's see. Or could it be food? Oh yeah, this is the one by uh, Ripash Guao. So uh, thank, uh, thanks for the animation. Uh, I'm going to use uh, this one, these two animations over here. So let me just move this out of the way because it looks like the simulator has loaded already. So get your favorite food and then we serve only from Tri's restaurants in your area. All right, so this is looking fine. Okay, so anyway, let's come back over here. Sorry guys, I'm multitasking a little bit. I'm gonna click on this. Uh, maybe let me just see whether I can open this in a new tab, I can't. Okay, so maybe what I'll do is to just duplicate this over here. And then I'm gonna click on the first animation. And then for the second tab, I'm gonna click on the second animation over here, okay? So for the first animation, uh, okay, so I wanna download the JSON file. So let's come over here to click this uh, download JSON file. I believe you might need to register an account on Lottie files com in order to download so uh, please do that if you haven't so i'm going to click on this and i think there are a couple of formats that we can choose i'm going to choose the lottie json file so i'm going to click on this and this is being uh, downloaded into my downloads folder i'm going to come to the second tab all right so it's uh, the animation of a guy on a scooter delivering food i suppose again i'm going to click on the um download the Lottie JSON file, okay? So let's open this in my finder and I have the delivery guy uh, picking up the order. So maybe I'm just gonna rename this to uh, Lottie uh, delivery guy, all right? And for the first one is just the, uh, rest uh, uh, the guy in front of the restaurant. So uh, maybe I'm gonna do a Lottie uh, restaurant A, -U sorry, I can't really spell, R-E-S-T-A-U-R-N-T. Okay, Lottie restaurant and Lottie delivery guy. Okay, so that's all I have. Okay, let's open up the uh, Xcode project. 
And then uh, I want to just uh, create a new folder over here. So let's uh, right click and select new group and let's call this uh, assets. Okay. And then we want to drag in the uh, two JSON file into this folder over here. So just uh, select these two files, let's drag this into the assets folder, release this and just ensure that copy items if needed is being checked. Okay. So I'm going to click on the finish button. All right, so we have added the two JSON files into uh, our project. All right, next thing we want to do is um, let's come to our main.storyboard. Okay, I think we have to change uh, one of the UI view. Okay, so let's just wait for this to uh, load first. And then you uh, remember this uh, yellow animation view over here. Uh, at present, I'm, uh, I have already hooked this up. Uh, so let's disconnect this first because oh, we have to change the type of this UI view. So let's make sure that this UI view is being selected and come over to this um, identity inspector over here. And under the custom view, I think we have to type in uh, animation view. Okay, so animation view is, uh, okay, so one thing to note is that once you type in animation view, you have to select this drop down and select the Lottie uh, framework over here. If you don't do this, your app is going to crash. All right, guys, so just make sure to do this over here. So this animation view is actually part of Lottie view. Okay, so now what we want to do is to come back to the onboarding view controller and let's import Lottie. Okay, and let's scroll down to the uh, collection view cell. And instead of this conform, uh, instead of this of type UI view, we want this to be animation uh, view. All right, so this is what I want. Let's come back to the main dot storyboard and let's connect the IB outlet once again. So uh, on this uh, cell ID, let's right click, and then we should see this animation view over here. So let's just connect this. Okay, so this is what. It's to be done. Let's come back to the onboarding view controller. All right, guys. So what I want to do right now is to maybe just hard code um, an animation over here first. So uh, the, the way to do this is I have to do something like that over here. I'm going to say uh, self, uh, sorry, animation view uh, dot animation equals to, okay, maybe let's do let animation first. Let animation equals to uh, animation dot name. Okay, so we are able to pass in the string over here. So maybe let's bring in um, Lottie restaurant, shall we? Okay, so maybe I'm just going to... Uh... All right, guys, so this is one thing that uh, uh, please note that when you click on this JSON file, sometimes because this JSON file is pretty huge, I don't know if that's the word. So it might kind of hang your Xcode for a little bit. So you see over here, it's already complaining. So let's uh, see whether I can wait for a little while for this to resolve by itself. All right, guys, so as you can see, it doesn't resolve by itself. So I have to restart Xcode again. So uh, maybe this is one of the uh, disadvantage uh, loading a JSON file. So, um, but I, but probably uh, Lottie will fix it uh, subsequently. I'm not so sure, but again, uh, if I, if you had to click on this, your Xcode might hang. So <laughs> try not to do that. Okay. So let's, let's continue. Let's go with a let, um, let animation equals to animation dot name. And then this will be Lottie restaurant. Okay. And then I'm going to do um, animation view dot animation equals to um, animation. All right. And then what I'm going to do next is let's do animation view uh, dot loop mode equals to loop. So we want to loop through the video. And then we want to say if animation view is animation playing. Okay, if it's not playing, then we want to uh, play the animation. Okay, so we're going to do something like that. All right, guys, uh, so let's run the app to see if this is working as intended. All right, so it looks like there is a small problem over here. Hey guys, I realized that uh, the IB outlet has not been added successfully. So let me just do that one more time. Okay, not really sure why that happened. Okay, so again, let's right click on this. 
and then uh, let's go with the animation view and let's just select this animation view over here all right so let's hit the run button one more time all right guys so yeah the animation is showing right now so this is good news okay so what i want to do is to make this dynamic so guys let's just click on the animation view and uh, i just want to ensure that i don't have a background color so maybe let's select clear so this should update by itself and let's hit the uh, play button one more time and i believe uh, yeah this is the effect that we want so all right guys we can add this into our slide uh, collections uh, array now so let's come over to the onboarding view controller and then uh, we're not going to hard code this now so let's come all the way to the top over here and then for the first animation name we want this to be uh, the uh, lottie uh, maybe let's do the lottie delivery guy lottie delivery guy and then for the second a slide let's choose um, lottie restaurant all right guys i apologize for that uh, blunder so again um for some reason if you have to click on this it, it might hang your xcode so um yep so all right guys so let's make this dynamic so again um let's do uh let's do it this way so it'll be slide dot animation name okay i think that should be fine so let's just run this one more time all right so we have the guy on the scooter okay apparently sending food to the restaurant or sending food from the restaurant get your favorite food delivered to you under 30 minutes and then of course when you click on the next button we expect this to uh, to go to the next uh to the next cell but we have not fixed that yet so we will do that in the next video again if you are to scroll to the next uh collection view cell you will see a different animation over here all right guys this is all i have for you in this video i'll see you in the next one